Hey guys, welcome. My channel is about aviation photography. So I cover topics of aviation and also some photography tips and tricks. And today I'd like to cover a photography trick. So here goes. If you've watched any of my other videos, you already know by now that one of my favorite pieces of camera gear is my hiking pole. I made a previous video of how I use this sometimes in the field to act as a slider. You can check out the link over there, I'll link it. Uh, but today I wanna to talk about the parallax effect. Is what happens when the subject remains stationary in the frame while the background moves in one direction and the foreground moves in another direction. It creates a visual, uh, very pleasing effect, especially if you're trying to capture a subject in some of your B-roll. So to obtain this effect, the camera has to move around the subject in an arc. So let's imagine this is my subject and this is my camera. So to obtain this effect, the camera has to move in an arc around the subject. If you look at it from the top, almost in this motion. And what happens is by rotating around the subject like that, the background will be moving in one direction and the foreground in another direction. So this is where my hiking pole comes in again. By simply attaching a tripod head to the one end to help me secure the camera, the other tip of the hiking pole can be secured in the center of rotation and therefore by moving the camera in an arc, I'm able to create the parallax effect. Here, let me show you guys this example. So I needed to add some B-roll to this hiking video. And of course it's a fairly rainy day. So the B-roll that I want to add is of some of the plants and showing some raindrops and creating a moody effect uh, around the raininess of the day. So here's a fairly uninteresting scene. There's nothing special about it. It's just a bunch of plants and leaves, but it provides me with exactly the kinds of leaves and the foreground as well as the background and I think it'll work in my shot. So here, let me give you guys a, a demo of how I do this. So here's the setup. The leaf that I want to film, which is this, the focal point or my subject is over there. So all that I have to do is get the tip of the hiking pole in a location that's kind of at the base of that. So then that'll be my center of rotation as I orbit around that point. The other thing to notice, the camera is lined up with the direction of the pole, so I don't really have to reframe to make sure that my subject stays in focus. The only thing I need to do is just pivot around the point, and of course the pole will ensure that I maintain an equal distance from that so I don't have to fiddle with the focusing either. So the setup is really easy. I essentially shoot manual and um, so I can line up my focus. Once I have my focus, I can simply perform this motion. Now the only thing that will affect stabili the stability of my shot is when I perhaps rotate the camera in this plane. So I kind of support it by holding my hand underneath and of course as you can see just orbit around that in a gentle fashion and that'll get me the shot and the parallax effect as I rotate around that uh, that subject there. Here take a look at the examples. So what do you guys think? Uh, when we're out in the field, we always have our hiking poles and it's a fairly effective way to achieve some of those effects. I'm always interested in learning what other photographers do. So if you have similar uses of your uh, hiking pole, be sure to comment below. 
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you like my channel, consider subscribing and that way you'll be notified when I upload more videos. And we're here at the Exit Glacier. This is uh, in Seward, Alaska. As it recedes up the valley and it's clearly visible in the background, but it's astonishing to see how much it's actually moved over the past 20, 30 years, which is our lifetime. Glacial water.